operational. All right. Fully operational, huh? Good for you, Tom. Thanks, Bree. I hope the boss likes you more than she liked me. Bree, it wasn't your fault. It was the customer. But I thought the customer was always right. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Tom. I'm sure you'll do great tomorrow. Why don't you guys walk me out? Have a good night, Thomas. Nervous? Yeah, it's just... I want to make Thomas proud, you know? Come on, you'll do great. I know it will help. Let's go meet some rubber friends. They were prototypes too at one point, just like you. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Wow, there's so many different kinds. Yep, each one with a job and someone to do it for. Excuse me, friend. Hey, Bree, I already made a friend. <laughs> I suppose you did. I'm Tiny Tim, and I love to make friends. I have lots of friends, like Beatbox, Walter, Mom, and friend Mark. Mom? Mark? I've never heard of those rubber friends. Who is Mom, Tidy Tim? Mom is the best. When friend Mark is sad, or scared, or nervous, she makes everything better. Wow. Mom sounds amazing. Yep. Friend Mark says everyone has a mom. Mom and Dad, that is, mothers and fathers, make us. Hey, Bree, do you think we have a mom? Like friend Mark? I don't know. Tidy Tim said moms and dads make us. Well, Thomas made you, so that means he must be your dad. Tidy Tim said there are two creators, moms and dads. I wonder who would know if we have a mom. If I do have a mom, I'd like to meet her. Maybe then I wouldn't feel so bad about tomorrow. Hey, what did I say? You're gonna do great tomorrow. Believe me, I'm an activator longer than you. I know a good bot when I see one. <laughs> Thanks, Bree. Oh, Tom, the old robot in the museum. He's been around the longest. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. There he is, the oldest robot here. Whoa. I've never seen this place before. Do you really know who our mother is? You have chosen not to cooperate. Where is mother? The Robo Friends? Leave them alone. They don't know our mother. None of us do. We read online that mother is here. Read online. Intruders. No, stop. Please don't hurt us. Resistance is futile. Yeah. Yeah. Fall in line, soldiers. We've got company. Our home is under attack. We must fight. I must fight! Override your safety protocols and discharge those capacitors. Now this is what I'm made for. Yes, I did it! Hoorah, soldier. Target acquired. Change him! No! Way to go, soldier. You saved his life. I... Tom, are you okay? I have to save them. Affirmative. We will save them all. Yes, sir. They picked the wrong bots to mess with. All right. Um, so that's our story. Uh, we, uh... Press any button to start. There we go. This is, this is awkward on keyboard. But it, it's been recommended for... A controller. I'm actually, I wish I could, I'm going to go back to cutscene view for a second here. Uh, so your options here are uh, Bree, Red, Tom, or Stu. Um, I want to say that it would have been better if Red had a name that started with O. Since, it, since it's B-O-T-S. But maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe he's just old guy. <laughs> uh, it does have local local play with split screen, as Rael mentioned, and it does actually support uh, Steam's remote play together, uh, where you can play local co-op, but like over Steam, um, so that you could play online. Um, I know that, though the game hasn't told me about this yet, that uh, his full name is OG Red. Um, that each of these have a different, like, firing mode. And I think I want to try Bree out, actually.
All right. Okay. So here we are. I assume I go this way. This get uh this is the story mode. Uh, I decided that this would be the better look at the game. There is an arcade mode with a procedurally generated, basically endless uh, level system. Where like each each floor has a like an objective to meet and then a boss at the end of it. Uh, okay, this is kind of cool so far. Very uh. So this is uh, this shocking ability. Doesn't seem to go very far, but spreads out, so I can be a little inaccurate with my shots. Not too much, though. Holy crap. This is... I'm not really good at, like, twin sticks or bullet hells, and I, I definitely probably shouldn't be playing this on keyboard and mouse. Did they just keep coming? No, it's just the same the same ones. All right. Right. I was actually going to make mention that this does definitely... How do I activate your ability? That was cool. I know that, uh, let me, let me review the controls really quick. Can I do that? Can I pause? Uh, left mouse armor is V. Okay. Boost. Drop, cancel, drop scrap. Uh, power is right mouse. Activate robo friend is space. Okay, cover. Okay. Huh. Q is swap robo friends. Okay. Uh, back to the game. Oh, um. That was like a boost. Okay. How do I actually use one of those? Oh, that's right click. Oh, you do like a... I, I wonder what happens if they get caught in it. Does it stop them? It do, Okay, it does. Yeah, there's no tutorial. So I'm, I'm quickly... I'm just having to learn from, from trial and error here. I just got rocked. See, it shows that I have, like, I can see what powers I have, but it would be cool if, like, if I just, like, was able to just flick in that direction to use that power. Like, if it was, like, a radial. Okay, they're gonna come this way. Okay, apparently that one's just still gonna frickin' juke me. What the heck? No. Stop. <laughs> oh, jeez, what are you? Stop. <laughs> Quit playing games with my heart. So I believe that, uh... In arcade mode, I, I did one floor just to see, like, set it up for, like, uh, OBS and stuff. And the objective there was actually to just collect three, uh, three robo-friends and then fight the boss. So I, that might be the, uh, what, what happens here. Oh, there's a power-up of some sort over here. What is this coin? Uh, did it, like, recharge the armor ability? It did. Okay. Okay, okay. That's starting to make more sense. There's a robo-friend down here in the corner. You can't see him. Okay. Uh, we got a new one. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's a healer bot! Okay! That's useful. Okay, so... So this is kind of like the, uh... You know how, like, in Binding of Isaac, you have all the little pickups that you have, and you basically swap between the ones as you get them? 
to keep which ones basically make your build on a run. That seems to be the what the role that the Robo Friends um, facilitate here. Uh, let's see. We have no up from here, so we can go this way. We haven't been to the right yet. Mm -hmm. Is this something? Greetings, sir. Butterville at your service. Oh, okay. I missed. Did I miss that the first time through? Oh, there's another. There's another Robo friend. What happens when you have more than three? I'll be here cleaning up. I'll ah. be here cleaning up. Okay. What's the point of? I don't understand. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go into the the options menu really quick and see. Uh, drop Robo friend R. Okay. Uh, so they, they're going to wait here for me um, if I want to swap out to a different one. Is that how that works? Until next time, friend. Right, and then I just pick up the ones I want. Ready to clean. Okay, I want to try you. Uh, and then, no, I don't want, no, no, go away. Get over here. I want you. There we go. Oh, what is that? What? I have no idea what this blue bar is. That uh, that's what like what scrap actually uh, what it influences. Oh, you dig up more scrap. Okay. Found the cat. I will say that my 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 twin stick uh my twin stick expertise is basically losing quarters and upon quarters upon quarters in Smash TV and never going anywhere, but also successfully helping Abigail and Stardew with level one of Prairie King. I actually beat that. So it's like the one thing I did well. Clean, clean, clean. I want to shoot you. There we go. I seem to be doing okay. I almost don't want to say that. There we go. Get some armor going. Oh, the door is locked until we beat him. Come here, you. Oh, God. There's a second wave. You. Oh, wow. Animals do get to, to some strange places. Oh, you have like a shield of some sort. Let's take out the ranged ones first. Okay. I suppose I don't need to be right on top of them to do that. Oh, you do. Okay, your shield goes down when you do melee attacks. Well, too bad. So sad. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Chef. My name is Sonic. Let's get cooking. Oh, okay. We got Sunny. Why is this door locked? It's not. Uh, I'm just about to uh, start Shadowbringers. Let's see what the hype is about. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I really do. Um, <sighs> Shadowbringers is... Uh, I, I'm, I'm biased. So I, I'm not going to like... I am part of that hype. Oh god. It's cooking. Oh, you recharge my power. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. Too bad it like locks me in place while you're doing it. Oh, uh, I can't shoot past that. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. 
They do, uh... Are those paintballs? That just took... I just took some damage. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, I have power attack up. Bring on the fire. Oh, that is... I have to be incredibly accurate with that. Holy cow. Does the paint actually do damage? Apparently, it prevents you from taking damage. No, like, if there's plot questions, yeah, I understand. Answers are in T13. Oh, come on now. Just being so cheeky. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Yeet. Bam! If I find... I need more robo-friends. I want to see where I was. Okay, I'm here. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything to the left of this. The other Robo friends are chilling here. That seems to be where they go back to. Okay. Let's go to the right. Are y'all coming this way? All right. <laughs> the turtle seems like it would be the one that puts up the stop barrier. It might actually be very useful against the melee guys. If you can get them close enough to drop their shield and then stop them in, within there. At least, I, I wonder if that's how that works. Uh, up we go. Oh, there's a new robo friend in here. Uh, let's send you back. No, you were supposed to leave. Thank you. I'm Pod. For all your prisoner space needs. What do you do? Oh, okay. That's a shield. I see you give me personal space. I see. <laughs> Thank you. You wish you also had that shield at work. Do you have, you have issues with co-workers, Kyo, that, uh... <laughs> or is it more like customers? <laughs> I didn't even see that one there. Oh, that don't respect social distancing. Oh, man. I would, uh... I would, no. I'd get fired so quick, because I'd have been like... Stay the... I don't know. Just, I don't know. Like, you want to get near me? Okay, fine. You have the right to tell them, and we, you, you do frequently, but you, the, the point is, is that you have to. I think that's probably what's... Yeah. Eat, eat. Uh, it's a new experience for a lot of people, and... Oh, that's another, uh... Hmm. Oh, Tab also brings up the map. That would be... Duh. That would make a lot of sense. Until next time, friend. Maggie here. Let's keep things moving. What does Maggie do? We're gonna go over here, and we're gonna find out what Maggie does. Whoa. Some kind of shield of some sort. Oh, you wanted to you wanted to shoot through my shield? Too bad. These things actually take a few hits. Is this door locked? No, it's not. Can I actually like shoot scenery? Not really. All right. I'm locked in here because I have these two guys. Um. Bam! That bam did nothing. Oh God. Yeah, see that's what I'm like when everybody's like, and hair salons are gonna start opening back up, and what? 
cut cut hair from six feet away. Good luck. I missed everyone with that. I'm really good at this game. Oh, it pushes back projectiles. Did you see that? That's that's kind of cool. Come on now. Come on now. This NA aim over here. No, we're gonna. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna. This, Thanks for the break, boss. Yeah, we'll send you home. Let's keep things moving. Well, I totally just sent the one home that I just picked up. I think. Yeah, I did. Well, oh well. <laughs> I. Oh God. Stop that. <laughs> That's very impolite. Oh, jeez. Nope, they're right there. Ah, four for one. That was a good shot. I will never actually intentionally be that good. Come to me. Oh, you're gonna... That's right. You actually... That barrier actually didn't help. Sorry. The barrier actually pushed me into a bad place. What is... There are people everywhere. Bring on the fire! Bring on the fire! Yes, I, I want you to melee me. Melee me. Thank you. Yahoo! <laughs> Catch you later, dude. No, I didn't send you back. Oh, he leaves a... He leaves a... Okay, that's cool. That might be cool to use in tight corners. What do we got? We got... I guess the, the objective is to explore the whole floor? How do we get to these rooms? I have to go up from the... I have to go up from here. We have to go all the way back? No, that's a down room right there. So, okay. Right, and then over then down, okay. Oh, nice! Alright. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be more. Ouch. No, no, not that button. This one. The one right next to it. Ouch. Yeah, stay back a while. Stay a while and listen. Alright, what do we got down here? We got more, uh... More baddies. I probably missed a robo friend or two. I'm blind. I can definitely see how this would be more enjoyable with more people. Like, getting four people to play this at the same time probably makes this ab absolutely absurd. Um, I'm back down there. Was that just a straight way? Yeah. Innovation Robotics. Okay, that's the name of this place. I feel like, yeah, I feel like with like a tutorial or introductory level would be great. One that described the different, uh... Yeah, have a great one. Thank you. Or is this really... I'm confused. Oh, is that it up there? Like, does it want me to go there? No, stop getting stuck on things. Just move. The elevator? Oh, God, yeah. Up. I hope we can save all the Robo friends. 
Tom, was it? Fine work out there, soldier. Thanks, Mr. Red Robot. I'm sorry I never got your name. Red. Commander Red. I never could have guessed. My name is Bree. I'm Stu, a receptionist here at Innovation Robotics. Or I used to be. It doesn't look like these intruders are leaving anytime soon. We have to find them and systematically eradicate them one by one. Hoorah! Huh? huh? These guard guys just keep saying, where is mother? That's right. Red, do we have a mother? Guard is looking for mother. Is it our mother? She real? Yes, mother is real. That's top secret information. I don't know how these intruders found out about it. My standing orders are to protect mother at all costs. So we do have a mother. Well, where is she? If you're protecting her, you must know where she is. Mother is currently located at us and I. What? what? Huh? We've stopped. Sir, we've lost control. It's taking us to the top. Eyes up. Enemies inbound. You fell right in our trap. Looks like you'll need a lift. Too bad this one's out of water. It looks like he's been hacked. Destroy the bugs. That should eliminate the signal. What? <laughs> oh god! Okay, breaking boxes to get bugs. Okay. I don't have any robo friends though. Did I just have a box land on me? Are you hiding in that box? You are. All right. No hiding. This is an interesting boss mechanic. Yeah, my special seems to be really good for this when I have it. Um, I when I when I did a little playtesting in the arcade mode, I played as Red. Uh, and I do not like Red's fire mode at all. It's something that uh, somebody that was more, more, uh, more skilled than me would definitely make great use of. But it's something that I can't really make use of. Um, Red fires a rocket that when you push the fire button again detonates. So you decide where it detonates at. Um. I am so many box left side handle it mortar box okay stop box no seriously stop box we're at about what, what about the half oh we just passed the halfway point okay I see that bar up there oh what is this That, that, yeah, that special feels good when it, when it, uh, in this fight. Let's fling it this way and see how many boxes we get. How many boxing? Alright, alright, alright. Oh god, bugs. No, 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 no hiding for you. Stop the hiding. When I kind of nope, no, I just want to like move right here and do this. There we go. There's so many places for you to hide. I don't like it. I want you out of the box. Thank you. Now for the big one. Stop. <coughs> what are you doing? He's okay now. Stop. He attacked us, and he let that other one get away. He does not deserve to live. What the He whoa. was being controlled. Fine. Have it your way. It doesn't change the fact that the red robot got away. What are we going to do about that? An invasion is led by commanders. I believe that was one of them. Well, what are we going to do? He jumped right off the building. I know how we can get down, but we have to work together. Did we see how they got down, or did we just assume that they just jumped off, too? 
Rescue Robo Friends and find where the red one went. Okay. So we completed our first level. <laughs> Fucking Stu. Dude, Stu is way too hardcore. Just be like, uh, yeah, he, he deserves to die. Never mind the fact that, like, that whole cutscene started with him being hacked. Did that bot just speak at me in Japanese? Huh. So is this like the desert level? You kill all the other bots, then no bots could be your enemy. That's actually solid logic, you know? Nobody can work against you if you don't have anybody else around, you know? Whoa, okay, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Alright, this is... Okay, so we're gonna, like, explore this whole area. You take that. You take a, take one of those. Oh, she wasn't ready yet. I was gonna have her spin next to them. It was gonna be it was gonna be beautiful. I don't like those guys burrowing. They dodge my attacks. I don't like him. I don't like him very much. They dodge my murder. Yeah, Stu wouldn't like him at all. Like, wait, you dodge murder? That's against the rules. I murder you for that. Oh god, she is actually really powerful. I like, I like, I like her. I might have to see about getting copies of this game for friends. There might have to be like some four player action. Provided that uh, the remote the remote play together is actually uh I've never actually played over Steam remote play together. Has anyone actually used it? One time. I could, yeah, I could use some. There we go. I assume that's like a way inside the building. It is. Okay. Enter the gungeon. It was really bad for Enter the gungeon. Okay. What are you? Bonjour. My name is Walter. All right, Walter. Oh, hey! It's the Stay Hydrated bot! You are you are more than welcome here, stay hydrated bot. Alright. This feels like I feel like I'm playing like if this wasn't a top-down game, this would definitely be like a region in like a Zelda game. <laughs> Wow, what would a twin stick Zelda game be like? Ah, uh, she doesn't work there because they don't come anywhere near her. Alright, we want these guys to be hydrated, yeah? Uh, well, I, that fired late. I do like that you can shoot some projectiles out of the air. Twin Six Zelda, that'd be weird to say the least, right? But then they made like you, they made like Cadence of High Rule work, you know? Which is a fantastic game. Holy shit! Okay, I got some new, I got some new friends here. I like my new friends. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of a friend. 
Yeah, you know what? You go away. It's a bidet bot. It's a bidet bot. Let's flush them out. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Not like this. But day, everybody. But day. Oh, they're nowhere near that, though. I. Wait, I want to go down. I want to go up, and I want to. I want to clear this well. Too late. I want to clear it. Uh. I want to have a little bit of, like, organization to my clearing here. This is wild. There are two bots on this screen. I'm gonna send them back home. Catch, catch you later. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Wait, is this where our friends come hang out? Okay, that's where they come hang out. I'll be around when you need me. You're coming this way? Alright. That didn't work as anywhere. Okay, come here. You, right there. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's that's interesting. Oh god, what are you? No, stop. I refuse. All right. We somehow missed that square. <laughs> Everything in this game murders. That's actually what this game does. It just murders. That is why... Stu is so happy to be here. <laughs> does it pull them in? It does. Stu does the genocide run in Undertale every time. Like, not even just because, like, no, I haven't seen it yet. He literally just does it because it's the most fun he's ever had. He's like the person who defaults to the Jojo run in Stardew. Oh, man. Yes, I want to hit you. You right there, specifically. Precisely, at this point in time. Oh, I got floored there for a second. Oh, yeah, come to me. Oh, jeez. One, one of them has, like, a knockdown. It's actually really kind of annoying. Did I just hear Jojo? No, you heard Jojo. Maybe I said Jojo. Like a Jojo run? That's a completely different kind of run, though. It's a little, little bit too much. Yeah, I'll just clear straight across. Why not? Uh, this game was on sale on Steam, but I think that sale ended yesterday? Um. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! <laughs> what, that missed you? Oh, come on. Uh. If I had streamed this the same day I asked for the key, uh, I probably would have been able to be like, yeah, it's on sale right now. 
I think it's like normally like 25 bucks or something like that. I would definitely have to see how the multiplayer pans out. Um, this is kind of good for like... I don't want to say like it's completely mindless because clearly... Clearly you have to pay attention to what you're doing, but um... It definitely feels like it's the right kind of game for like when you want to wind down and just... Just mow down mobs of enemies. Um... I do think, uh, I do think, uh, like a, a tutorial, even if it's just a, even if it's just a series of pop-ups of like, and, and press X to fire your blah, you know, that kind of, that stuff would be very beneficial. Music is, uh, music hasn't gotten in the way. I haven't been like, oh my God, this is a banger. But at the same time, like, do you want to be distracted? from the game by the music. It is very, very fitting for, uh... I, I expect to hear this in, like, a cyberpunk kind of game. Which fits! I mean, I'm playing... I'm playing sentient robots. Uh, some of the sound design... So far, like, I've, I've, I've seen some, like... Some things of like, if I run through a robo friend here, we'll see what this one. Like every time I pass through them until they're off the screen, they will repeat their line. Uh, and they also, um, wait for these guys to die before I do it. Uh, and uh, during the cutscenes, I feel like the, the blast and explosion sounds are a bit too loud compared to the voices. Um Because they have they have basically a hello and a goodbye dialogue and they say the goodbye dialogue if you've got a full party of robo friends already. Do all four players get a compliment of free Robo friends, could you imagine four people on this this block of screen right here, with twelve possible powers shooting out on top of the the robot's base shot and their own power as well? Like this could this could get pretty darn pretty darn wild and chaotic, and I like that. I like that potential. T T T T T T T Wild T T Wild. I love her power. It seems like such a simple thing that literally she just plants where she is and spins. But it's so useful when waves, the waves of mobs in this game follow a pattern of how they enter and leave the screen. that it? No, it's still you. Where are you, where are you going? You're going right there, okay. Get out of my life. Oh, I got stuck on the, I got stuck on the freaking, there's like a wheelbarrow there and I got stuck on it. Something I do have to get used to is the fact that it's twin stick and that the way I'm firing isn't always necessarily the way I'm moving. Which should allow me to dodge better, but uh, I do not dodge. Um, I'm quite the opposite of what you'd expect, like in a Souls game. Uh, Until next time. You could be gay and dodge. You don't parry, you don't block, you dodge. In any game like that, any kind of combat game where you have those options. Oh gosh! <laughs> Oh gosh, hold on a second. I gotta hydrate. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. That was actually a fair bit of water. I'll chug a little bit more just for you. Mm. It's a good reminder for you guys to uh, get up and stretch your legs every once in a while. Just drink a lot of water. 
You weren't... Tank, you were never an idiot. <laughs> ah. Okay. Maybe you were a little bit of an idiot. But not nearly as much as I am. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Hello! Oh, no, it's one of you. I wish I had a better way than to just stand and take the, uh... Stand and take the melee, you know what I mean? Well, that worked, actually. That worked better. Okay, maybe I do actually have a better way than to just stand and take the melee. Oh, there's a robo-friend here. I think he hit me while the map was up. I don't think the action stops when the map is up. No, it does. Mordo, how are you doing today? Uh, saw people translating stuff from the, uh, the 7 remake Ultimania. Um... And apparently one of the reasons, at least from what people have been saying, one of the reasons that they didn't... I don't I don't say it's completely that reason, but the reason that 7 Remake wasn't named 7 Remake Episode 1 or whatever was because they don't know yet how many episodes they're going to do. Um, They're like... They, they're, they, they haven't decided yet. They were like, we could we could break it up into three and make longer games, but they would also take much longer to put out. Or we could break it up into more than three and do uh, more frequent releases so that the people get get the games quicker. You know, people get the story and I'll be here. the games quicker. Uh, no, the Ultimania sounds more like... Um, the Ultimania sounds more like, uh, we, if we focus on small areas and give them the, give them the, you know, the high quality Passover, uh, it would be a lot better than trying to cram a big section of the game into one. Uh, so there might be like seven episodes of Final Fantasy VII. Which is convenient. For people who like to make money off of every single one of them costing 60 bucks. I mean, I, you know. Uh. But, but like, the example that was given was, like, a game could focus on Junon. And a collector's edition of each. I really hope they don't do that. I mean, they probably will, but I really hope they don't. I could see, I could see this, you know, this chapter one, episode one, or whatever, being coming with the uh, collector's edition, because it's like, hey, look, that game that was the 23-year-old game with the remake now that you've been waiting for for a while. Was that all of them? Did I miss any Robo friends? Will the game tell me? a path here to follow. Oh god, it's just, it's not telling me. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, time to go view every panel of this freaking map. No, okay, we're there. Thomas! Tom! What is going on? There were these robots, and they attacked us, and they were hurting the Robo friends, so I had to stop them, because that's bad. And then all this happened when Bree and I went to go see Red, because we wanted to know who Mother was, and Stu was there. Uh, Thomas, I'm sorry, it seems like we should have... You four have done a fine job, but we really should leave this to the police. Who knows where these robots came from, or who they belong to? Now hold on there, sir. I was given a job by my creator to protect Mother, and I'll be a fried circuit if I let anything happen to her. Thomas, what on earth is going on here? 
Boss, I, uh, I just got here. You, code name and model number. Red. Red October. Stu. Oh, Red October. Uh, I'm Tom, ma'am. Three. You four, I have a job for you. Mop up any and all of these intruders here at the facility. Sam, what are you thinking? These robots are made to help people. Think of the reprogramming. That's enough, Thomas. Think of what would happen if something like this got out. I'm not going to let that happen. I trust you will see that this is taken care of, Thomas. It is your company, after all. Red, where is Mother? That information is currently unavailable. What do you mean? Perhaps your security clearance has expired, sir. It's all right, Red. Mother's location can wait. We need to take care of these intruders first. I need you bots to search the entire facility. Whoever's running this operation is somewhere nearby. Signals can't travel past these walls without proper clearance. Okay, Thomas, you can count on me. Start with the Expo Center. Come back to me once you find who's behind all this. Huh. Oh, so okay. you're the ones breaking all our toys. I thought you'd be taller. Toys? What do you think this is? Some kind of game? Why, yes. You try and stop Oh shit, it's Calcabrina. So your mother. <laughs> These girls must have a screw loose. Well, if you don't like that game, why not a game of war? Much like your red friend once played. It was no game. Think whatever you want. We will find mother. Try and stop us. If you dare. What were they talking about, Red? I was designed and created for one thing. To be a base model for an army. There were exactly 2,000 of us and I was their field commander. When the battle was won, I was the only survivor. I returned to base and my creators were surprised I found my way home. They told me how proud they were, gave me this medal, and said I earned it. 2,000 of us actually earned it, but I was the only one who could receive it. In the end, it was all to settle a funding problem. A civilized war, it was called. It was just a game for them to watch, but it wasn't a game to me. I understand. We're only seeing this tool. The past doesn't matter. What matters is what we do now, moving forward. Come on, soldiers. Let's move out. Huh. Well, then. <laughs> we don't have enough time to finish this floor. Hi, Briz. How you doing? But we're gonna look at it anyways. Uh, how about the music, though? Hmm? Sure. I actually dig this music. How you doing, Briz? Uh, people like me who'd make memes out of having paid 420 for the whole thing, right? Like, yeah, Ultimanias are, uh... I wish, I wish Ultimanias, like, came over, like... The amount of time it takes for an Ultimania to actually get out. I was gonna try to melee... Yeah, I was gonna try to get within melee range of you and let you take the damage from that ultimate thing, but no. Alright, Sonny. The doors here are... Okay, I see. So if I wanted to cross into this room, I have to complete whatever's here to make that turn. Oh, what, what are you? P is for pal. That's me! You are pal. Okay. Sorry! You're not alive! Oh! Hello! You put up a wall! That's kind of cool. There's more? Oh, yeah, there's more. Of course there's more. I keep pushing tab to switch robo friends, but it's Q. That's that's me being a derp. Come on out. Oh. I'm not really good at aiming the chef's attack. It does a lot of... It seems to do fairly decent damage when it hits, though. Stop strafing. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. How do I get these to turn? Oh, yeah. 
What are these? It's like trash cans. Oh, hi, bugs. I see what Scrap does now. And I see why you can drop it so you can kind of like share it with other people. You can use Scrap to basically refill your health. That's what the blue bar is. Today I learned. Which would be why the cleaning bot was actually useful, because he would dig up scrap. Okay. Do I have a button that... That's my power shot. I don't want to use that, though. Oh, well. Too late. Used it. What is down over here? There's a bot. There's a bot. There's a bot in the middle of the map. Oh, shit. It's a music bot. I gotta hear you, man. Oh, okay. I can't. Yeah, I can get behind that. Were they getting stuck in. Are you actually using the queue right now? What is wrong with you, sir? Him with the dumb step. Uh, let's switch out to. Let's set the cooking bot home. There we go. <laughs> With the dub. Did did was uh was that an autocorrect? You ever just throw your wubs at people? Who are you? I'm the wub of your life. Oh bees! You were just distracted by something dumb you did? We never do dumb things. What are you talking about? Like down here? Ooh. Power box? Money! Uh, what is the... How do I activate... Let's see. Armor V. Okay. Left shift is boost. That makes sense. Left control is cover. Okay. Whee! Oh, I don't actually have a boost saved up. I apparently don't have a power shot either. What is this? Was it taking pictures of us or something? It feels like a button that was changing things, but... Okay, that dude is a damage sponge. I have two boosts now. Yeah, it's a button! Okay... That's the boss room. We're gonna try it out. We're, we're, we're gonna run out of time here, but that's okay. We're gonna try it out. Come on, melee me so you take the damage. Melee me. There you go. Oh, it's the girls! Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. No crossing here. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not actually hitting them. How do I break their uh their barriers? They don't even get hit by... Whoa! Now you have to make them run into each other! Okay! 
Come here, Blue. Come on. What are you so afraid of? I thought it was that. I thought you had to make them run into each other. Yeah, the, the, the shield goes down briefly when they're hit. And if they hit each other while their shield is down, I think that's what knocks them over. Why is my power not recharging? Oh god, that hurts. That hurts. Stop that. I am not figuring out this boss mechanic properly. I am not doing it properly. I'm so bad. Sorry, you're not allowed. Okay, we no, they pass right through it. What's the point of being able to put up a wall if the mob walks right through it, huh? My power shot just stopped charging. Oh, they're down, but I'm gonna miss them. Okay. I'm gonna... No crossing here. I really need bolts. I, I need health. I need some scrap. Like she sounds like oh no, nope, I'm dead. Uh Did I just get a new life? Is that what happens? All right, let's try blue out. Did I beat them? This time, I'm not going home alone. Did I beat this them? This access tunnel leads to the space facility. I. Welcome, welcome, little bots. Okay, I, I beat them. Come, I prepare for everything. You're not prepared for me. Ah, yes, Stew. Prototype for the next civilized war. That never happened. You were reprogrammed for domesticated work, am I right? Failed. You were not able to pass your review, never mass produced, and kept around only to save money. I don't need to prepare much for you. Your scores used to be like me. Perfect. You were an instrument of destruction, but not anymore. This is my war. You are my enemy. My creator must have known. Stuart Murphy, son of Innovation Robotic co-founder Reginald, known for his failure and his removal from company power for his prototype's inability to cope with the transition to domestic robots. Mm, looks like your dad was fired for his failure. You... <laughs> Stu, what did he mean by all that? He didn't pass your review? I suppose... I should explain. I was made for war, and rehabilitated for civilian interaction. I was a skilled soldier, perfect firing scores, efficient and reliable. Then the company went in a different direction. No matter how hard I tried, I was never good enough. My design was not suited for domestic work. I was a soldier, not some handy dandy robo friend. I never passed my review. Instead, they just put me in front of a desk to keep me out of trouble. Every test they gave me, I failed. Eventually, I just started pretending to be something I wasn't, and continued to do that every single day. But I am no failure. They changed the rules. Yes, Stu, you're not a failure, and you're not just a receptionist. Well, you're not just a soldier either. You're both. Well, let's show them the kind of reception that guard deserves. All right, friends, that is going to be... The end of the first hour look at bots and the robo friends. I want to say thank you again for the game key. I'm going to go ahead and put this in chat again. Uh, game Grotto Softworks, I appreciate the opportunity to take a look at this. Um, I see a lot of potential for fun here, especially in the multiplayer. Um, I probably should have taken a little bit more time to look at the other bots. Um, we might have another stream on this sometime, like, if I can, I can rope a few friends into 
playing along and seeing how the remote play together works. Um, I, I feel like there's a, there, there, my only major criticism is there's a few points where the game could probably indicate a little bit better if what you're doing is the right thing, like in that boss battle. <coughs> I seem to have, uh, that could be me just being blind and not really aware of it. And, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a quick tutorial section, but the game's already out, so... That, that's just, yeah. So that's, that's how I feel about it. But I did enjoy my time with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, this is going to be where I wrap up stream for today as well. Uh, so I hope you all had a wonderful one. <laughs>